The Lyman Museum was founded in 1997 and it actually started by mistake. I started collecting artifacts to do a display case in the lobby of American Safety just to show some artifacts from the years gone by. When I was a salesman and would travel, I would see old pictures and just got my curiosity up and started wondering what happened to all that old stuff. So as I traveled, I started asking for things and things started coming. And they kept coming and they didn't stop. So that was the beginning of the museum. The reason we had an idea for the Mobile Museum is we've outgrown our current facility here at the Lyman Museum and we need to build a new building. So, and able to start a capital fundraising campaign, we thought we'd take our show on the road. So we were actually going to build a mobile museum and travel to the rodeos and trade shows and take the museum to people that couldn't come to the museum to see it. So in doing so, I talked to George Hayden, who actually had a mobile museum that he'd shown for many years. I uh, worked out an agreement with George and we're actually taking George's museum on the road as part of the International Lineman Museum now. My name's George Hayden and as you can tell I love the old stuff, <laughs> me included. first met George Hayden in uh, 1998. Uh, I was uh, just starting out with the Lineman Museum at the Indiana Municipal Rodeo Association and George rolls in with a little 10 foot trailer. Uh, I thought he was another vendor uh, there to sell tools and he opens up the doors and Man, there's everything I'm looking for. He's got all the pieces that I want. George has been collecting since 1967. That's 47 years. And his collection is very special because there's some very, very rare artifacts on the trailer. I've got a copy of the Antar transmission line from Hoover Dam to the substation at uh, Los Angeles. I've got pictures of a bit of string in the line. What he's amassed and put together over the years in his collection is uh, in a lot of ways, a lot different from what we actually have in our museum. There's pieces that we have not been able to acquire, and a lot of what he has is one-of-a-kind pieces. It's important to preserve the history of Lyman and line work because one thing people don't realize, this is one of the most dangerous professions, even still today. But in the turn of the century, late 1800s, early 1900s, one of every two linemen was actually killed on the job, and they would just replace him and put another guy on the pole doing his job. And so a lot of people have given their lives for this industry. The Mobile Museum is going to be a huge asset to our museum. It's going to be one of the biggest things we can do to help with our fundraiser to be able to raise the money for the capital campaign to build our building. We're actually working on plans for a new building now and it's going to be a state-of-the-art 25,000 square foot building. Very educational, continuing to preserve the history. We want to have a small theater in it to show a little brief history of the linemen and the line industry. Very interactive for children to learn about electricity and how safe it can be and what it does for our lives. That's where the largest part of the money for the fundraising campaign is going to come from will be the individual memberships of the museum for the linemen across the country. $52 for a one-time pledge from every lineman in this country and allow us to do a one, $1 a week payroll deduction. If every lineman in the country will give us $52 in a one-time pledge, We've got more than enough money to fund the museum and be able to give back to this industry through scholarships. More than enough money to make all that happen. Lyman are America's heroes, and people don't see that. People look at heroes as the firemen and the policemen, and they don't realize how important a lineman is until the power goes out. When there's a major storm and we don't have power for a week, all of a sudden we realize how important a lineman is to this industry. So it's important to preserve the history of line work and linemen and the sacrifices they made to do the job that built the infrastructure for the United States to have power. Uh, for me, it's about giving back to this industry. It's about bringing recognition to the linemen who work in this industry for what they do, for what they give us, for our quality of life, which they provide for us. But it's being able to educate and tell that story. It's being able to educate the general public about what this industry is and what we do and how important power is to us in everyday life. Uh, it's because of this industry uh, that we have the quality of life that we have. To uh, be able to show where we come from and where we are today, uh, and the museum is a big part of that. I think it's important because it's where we come from. You know, if you if you don't know where you come from, how, how can you tell where you're going? You know, it's just a, pretty simple to me.